Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number 3 or unit number 3 that is called Energy and its Resources. And today I will deliver its second lecture. So my dear students, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. For that, listen to the questions very carefully, pause the video and then answer the questions. So my dear students, here you can see a boy. How do we move? The boy is running. So how do, uh, does he move? He runs, he walks with the help of energy. Very good. And where do we get the energy? From the food. Very good. So my dear students, everybody needs energy to move. So let's quickly do an activity before moving on towards the lecture. So my dear students, which type of energy is produced from these sources? Aapko yaha pe kuch sources nazar aare hai, paani, windmill. In se kis tarha ki energy produce hoti hai? This is the dam. This produces electrical energy. Kyunki jab isko pressure ke saath turbines ke upar giraya jata hai, to wo turbines bahut tez move karti hai. So this falling water provides energy to the turbine. And those turbines change the energy into electrical energy. Similarly, when these windmills move with the help of wind, they also convert the energy of the wind into electrical energy. And what are different uses of electrical energy at your home? Name any five. So, electrical energy ke kya kya uses hain? Aap apne ghar mein kis kis tarha se isko istamal karte hain? Quickly think and answer. हम इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी को पंखा चलाने के लिए वॉशिंग मशीन चलाने के लिए फ्रिज एसी टीवी इन तमाम चीजों को हम इवन लाइट uh, uh, जो बल्ब आपका जलता है दे आर वर्किंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी अनदर थिंग यू कैन सी दिस इज सोलर एनर्जी जो हीट होती है सन की दैट इज ट्रैप्ड इनसाइड दीस प्लेट्स and this energy, heat energy is turned into electrical energy. So, you can see that one form of energy ko dusri form of energy mein change kar diya jata hai. Aaj hum isi ke baare mein So, my dear students, in today's lesson, we will discuss about energy. So, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. Eat and drink, but waste not by excess. For Allah love, not the wasters. So, my dear students, hum khana khate hai to get energy. Pani peete hai. ताकि हम जिंदा रह सकें इसी तरह हम डिफरेंट एनर्जीज को यूज करते हैं हमें चाहिए कि हम इन चीजों को एहतियात से इस्तेमाल करें और अल्लाह ताला का शुक्र अदा करें इन टुडेस लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई नेचुरल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर एग्जांपल सन तो आज हम डिफरेंट एनर्जी सोर्सेज को रिकॉग्नाइज करेंगे आइडेंटिफाई करेंगे और उसके बाद हम सन को जो है वो डिस्कस करेंगे मेनली so my dear students, some pre-reading questions. What are different sources of energy that you know? हमने अभी activity में different energy sources discuss किए हैं. जल्दी से जरा मुझे बताएं. Very good. Wind, water, sun. These are different sources of energy. Have you ever seen a solar panel? कभी आपने छतों के ऊपर बड़े-बड़े panels लगे हुए देखे हैं? They are the solar panels and they trap the heat of sun and then changes it to electricity. So my dear students, now is the time for reading. Quickly open page number 120 in your GK3 books. I hope everybody has opened the page. Now let's start the reading. Sources of energy. Where does energy come from? Just look at the above examples and try to find out the sources of energy in each picture. So my dear students, we the previous lecture mein different energy sources. Ke mein padha tha. Energy comes from different sources. Some of them are blessed by Allah Almighty and a few are man-made. Here we will discuss natural sources of energy which includes. So my dear students, energy ke jo sources hai, wo different. Hai. Some are man-made and some are natural. Which uh, Allah Ta'ala has made. आज हम नेचुरल एनर्जी जो सोर्सेज हैं उनको डिस्कस करेंगे द सन वुड फ्लोइंग वाटर विंड कोल 
petroleum oil and natural gas these are all natural sources of energy so my dear students now quickly open page number 121 I hope everybody has opened the page. So my dear students, here you can see a picture. These are the solar, solar panels. What will happen when the heat of energy and the light of energy falls on these panels? They trap the energy and convert it into electricity. And this is how the energy of the sun is used to generate electricity. Jisko aap ghar mein apne istamal karte hai phir. So now let's study the sun. Sun is the ultimate source of heat and light energy on the planet earth. These energies produce food and plants. So my dear students, not just the sun produces electricity, Suraj jo hai wo zameen par uh, heat or light ka wahid zariya hai, natural, natural source jo hai. Aur um, iski wajay se jo hai, plants jo hai wo apna food banate hai, Hum jo hai un plants ke upar, animals and human beings feed on those plants. And that is how the energy is converted from one uh, form to an other. Yani ke plants jo hai sabse pehle energy unho ne use ki. Uske baad by eating the plants, animals and human beings are using the energy. So sun jo hai wo bohat important hai uh, living things ke liye. Aur isko kaise iski energy ko use kiya jata hai? Let's have a look. Humans utilize the energy of the sun after converting it into electricity that we use to run our appliances and equipments. It is the cheapest, clean and renewable form of energy. It can be generated until there is sun. So my dear students, sabse sasti energy jo hai wo sun produce kar sakta hai kyunki iski energy ko, heat or light energy ko uh, bijli mein ya electricity mein change kiya jata hai. Jisko jo hai hum apne ghar mein istamal karte hai as electricity different appliances ko chalane ke liye. So, sun ki energy jo hai ye renewable hai kyunki tab, jab tak sun hai tab tak hume ye energy milti rahegi. To sun jo hai wo kab tak hai? Let's have a look. The sun is, uh, has about 7 billion to 8 billion years left before it dies. So, suraj ke paas ek lambi age hai. Or iski energy jo hai taake hum isko use karte rahe and it will not finish till 7 to 8 billion years. So, sun and wood, these um, water, windmill, coal, petroleum and gas, natural gas. These are natural sources of energy. So, food energy comes from the sun. How? Because the plants make their food in the presence of sunlight and Human beings and animals utilize this food for energy. So, living things ke liye, sun ke energy bohat important ho gai. Next is electrical energy. So, sun also produces electrical energy. How? When the sun, sunlight falls on the solar panels, these solar panels convert the heat and light of the sun into electricity. And this is used in our homes. So, is tarikhe se sun ki energy ko electricity generation mein bhi istamal kiya jata hai. Now is the time for practice. For practice, you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So, my dear students, write down your name and your roll number. Then start the worksheet. Find the three objects around you and write where they get their energy from. So, aapko koi se three objects jo hai, unko, unke names jo hai, wo aapko sochne hai, apne edgit dekhe, aapko yahaan se mil jayenge, aur phir aapko batayana hai ki ye apni energy kahaan se leta hai, jaysay ke television, it gets its energy from electricity. So, isi tarikhe se aap different jo hai appliances ke name yahaan lik sakte hai, aur phir aap bata sakte hai ki ye apni energy kahaan se lik sakta hai. Aap apne bhai ka naam bhi lik sakte hai, ya behen ka naam bhi lik sakte hai, then you can tell ki where do they get their energy from they get their energy from food very good so complete it and this is the second part of the worksheet answer the following questions name of natural sources of energy so we have just read about different natural sources of energy write down their names like wind water sun uh, natural gas petroleum these are all natural sources of energy question number two which type of energies we get from sun so, sun se hum kaun kaun si energies lete hai? Heat and light, very good. 
So my dear students, quickly finish this worksheet and we will move forward. I hope you have finished it. Now we will move forward towards the evaluation. For evaluation, I will ask the questions from listening and speaking questions given on page number 126. I will ask question number 5 and 6. What do you understand by sources of energy? So the uh, different sources of energy which uh, help us to um, move different things, these are energy sources or um, help us to uh, make different things into working. These are energy sources. Name some of the sources of energy. Very good. Wind, water, petroleum, these are different sources of energy. So my dear students, for homework, you will do question number two on page number 128. What are the natural sources of energy? Make a list. So, aapko natural sources of jo energy hai, jo, jo we have just read about them, aapko unke list prepare kani hai and finish this in your um, notebooks, okay? So, this is your homework and now is the time for wrap up. So, my dear students, in the today's lecture, we have learned that different type of natural sources from where we get energy are sun, wood, flowing water, wind, coal, petroleum, oil and natural gas. Sun is the biggest source of heat and light. We use heat of sun for electricity production and as food energy by plants. So my dear students, this is it. Today we have discussed about all the energy resources. We have made a list of them. And then we discussed about sun as the main energy source uh, of heat and light. So my dear students, I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.